Mr. Goodwin, good to see you again. Yes, sir. Uh, wanted to ask you, you know, you had a little, you know, got banged up a little bit or nicked up during the summer league. Just curious how that, I'm sure you're good to go, but I've got to ask, like, how are you feeling injured? Yeah, I feel good, 100%. <laughs> okay. uh, ready to get out there. Yeah, I'm healthy, real healthy. Okay. Curious with this team still not having a, quote, true point guard. I know you play the position. Just now when you see the roster in totality, how you feel like your role uh, or what your role could be when you look at the roster now? I feel like I'm a, a person without a position. Uh, I feel like I can play the point guard. Uh, I did last year in D.C. Uh, but as far as the team, I feel we got a lot of ball handlers that can make a lot of plays. So I think that point guard situation kind of just be like a community type of thing where everybody kind of come in and just help out. Um, and, but then having Devin, it seemed like he could be the primary ball handler for the starting unit. What things, just maybe even competing against him or maybe seeing him that makes you believe, okay, he's, he's, he's the one that can handle that role? Yeah, just after uh, playing pickup with him all through the summer, you could just, just see he could score the ball very well. I think his passing is very underrated. Uh, I think you see a lot of different coverages a lot. So uh, just his ability to make reads out of double team and things like that. Uh, yeah, so I think he's a really good ball handler. Jordan, Kel Nolson, Arizona Sports. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Valley. With the dynamic between Bradley and Devin in the backcourt, a job that emerges now is who's going to guard Ja, who's going to guard Steph, who's going to guard Anthony Edwards, and so on. You're obviously a guy that takes pride in taking those kinds of defensive assignments. Do you feel like it's a good match here with what this team needs for guys to play off the big three and, and what you do on the floor? Uh, I do. I do. Uh, I feel like, like you said, I feel like I can guard a lot of these guys in the NBA, uh, especially at the point guard, shooting guard, and a couple of threes in the league. So uh, I definitely, I wake up every day wanting to take on the challenge. So uh, I definitely going to bring my hard hat. After you stepped into a legitimate playing time in a real role for the first time last season, what were the points that you thought you improved the most, and what do you want to take from that and taking it into a team that is trying to win a championship here? Uh, defensively, just understanding certain players in the NBA game. Uh, and understanding like the court and the spacing and things like that. Uh, offensively, I felt like I became a way better passer. Uh, I think that just came from a year in the G League, just understanding the game and spacing and things like that. And uh, just continue to get better at shooting the outside shot. So, Hey, Jordan, Gerald Borgay, good to see you again. As a defensive guy who likes to get after it on that end, how much are you looking forward to kind of picking Frank Vogel's brain and also playing alongside a guy like Josh Akogi, who has a similar mindset, I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, like I said, me and Josh, we shared the court a little bit and pick up already, so I can already see us making a lot of plays together and get on the fast break. Uh, but Josh has been a great, already a great mentor to me, uh, just showing me around the valley and things like that, but also just giving me some of his tips on defense, some things that he do that I would never thought about. So I think we already like got a good chemistry together. Oh, Jordan, Shane Young with Forbes Sports. I'm curious, what's Brad like as a teammate and maybe personality-wise? Uh, I mean, what is Brad like? Funny, funny, funny dude, real dude, down to earth. Uh, great teammate, great teammate. Uh, he wants to win. Uh, he, know, he understands how to talk to people uh, the right and wrong way. Uh, so he's a very good teammate. Uh, Dana Scott, Arizona Republic. Uh, Jordan, I know that you obviously have familiarity with Brad, but also have you worked with any of the guys that you haven't played with yet this summer? And how do you feel the preseason will help build that chemistry as you both are fighting for uh, playing time? Yeah, I think the chemistry is going to be very important. Uh, but I think um, I think the, the biggest thing is how the guys are off the court. Uh, so just talking to those guys and getting a feel from off the court, I feel like we already got a good chemistry. So I think it should translate over good on the court. Yes, sir. Next up is going to be.